On the flip side, on the network defense side, the best ways I find to preserve evidence of attack are going to be things like honeypots, firewalls, and intrusion detection systems. Why? Because those are all designed, as you heard earlier, to watch for specific patterns in traffic, to watch for attacks, to watch for unauthorized access. And then the moment they see it, preserve, begin preserving evidence and alerting administrators, whether they're stopping the attack or even encouraging the act to continue, that actually depends very heavily on the technique and the software that you're using, the systems that you're using. But by and large, these are the best ways that administrators can actually defend against a network by detecting the attack and actually preserving evidence for potential later analysis and possibly for law enforcement reporting. In addition, you saw the techniques around event log clearing. There are ways through group policy and a couple of other ways to actually prevent users from clearing event log entries. Those are important for administrators to remember. It's actually pretty straightforward and easy as part of group policy. And protecting the log collection point. If an administrator is using log collection as a security evidence collection system, which hopefully that's not the case for an administrator, but if you're an administrator doing this, certainly you want to consider protecting the log collection point, ensuring that only very, very authorized users can, a small set of very authorized users can clear that log, and they can only do so when the evidence is actually collected and protected for long term. 